Welcome back, folks, for a very quick episode of Leak Dish. Now, this episode is going to be really, really short because I already covered all of these vehicles that's been added to the main directory files for World of Tanks, and there's not that much difference since the 9.15.1 test server and the live server. So here you can see the list of the 26 hidden vehicles that's been added to the main directory file that you have no access to whatsoever. So you've been downloading extra data for these tanks without seeing them on the battlefield most of the time. So unless developers are running it, you won't see these tanks. So nobody has access to these tanks other than special permission moderators, whatever. So here you can see the list. Some of these tanks are relatively new, like the VK6501H or the Stritvog M42-57 alternate number two and some of these tanks are ancient like the object 244 the t4485 t44122 and the krupp steyer waffen trigger the romita scorpion waffen trigger which i covered like two or three years ago so yeah some of these tanks are ancient but two of these vehicles will likely appear relatively soon so this video is focused on these two tanks so the obvious one is the Stridvog M42-57 alternate number 2. And this is the flag bearer, the pole runner, to the Swedish medium tank line. So this is going to be a premium tier 6 Swedish medium tank. It's going to train your Swedish medium tank crew. And that's pretty much it. So this tank has no armor. AMX-13's oscillating turret with a single shot. 75 millimeter yep and that's pretty much it so penetration is above average a little bit dpm is below average shell velocity is decent okay-ish accuracy is pretty good aim time is pretty good horsepower per time ratio is yeah not that good but does have good terrain resistance to counterbalance view range is eh. radio is crap but does have decent camouflage value. So this is basically a sniping medium tank. But this is the obvious one. The obvious premium tank that's going to be introduced relatively soon. So, okay. Swedish tank line likely going to happen for Christmas of this year. But blah, blah, blah. But the other one, the not so obvious, but blatantly, you know, charismatic or showy, flashy vehicle is... The Romtail Scorpion Waffen Trigger. Now, it's not this one that I know for two to three years plus. It's this one, the Scorpion G. So, this is the special vehicle that's been added since the test server, since the 9.15.1 test server. And yeah, it's basically a specially painted Romtail Scorpion Waffen Trigger. It does have a desert-like paint camo with two scorpions on the gun shield. <laughs> Honestly speaking, it's not as pretty as the 58 Mutts, the Panzer 58 Mutts. Because the paint job is subtle on the Mutts because it's a whitish paint. The bear looks artistically, you know, sprayed on. So it does look pretty good. This kind of looks like two clip arts of scorpions pasted onto <laughs> the gun shield. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> it kind of looks like the bib for those competitive eaters of seafood. And it has scorpion or lobsters on the bib. So it kind of looks like two lobsters. But yeah, it does look kind of clip art-ish. So... The paint job is, uh, in my eyes, mm, not that artistically pleasing. But this is going to be a premium tier 8 German tank destroyer. So the stats of this tank is the same as the normal Scorpion, except better camo based on the paint job. And that's pretty much it. So the only difference is the paint job. Here you can see, boosted from 16.3%, which is not that great of a camouflage rating. 
But here you can see the penetration is above average. Alpha is above average. DPM is not that bad. I mean, it's below average, but only 70-ish, 60-ish. So it's not that bad. High module damage, so that's good to Amorak. Carries only 30 rounds, so make sure those shots hit and penetrate. Shell velocity is kind of slow, so lead your shots. Accuracy is great. Aim time is great, but don't shoot this thing on the move. So, hmm, 7 degrees of gun depression at the sides. Looks like 6 degrees of gun depression at the front. And only 3-ish at the rear. So, yeah, not that bad gun depression at the sides. And frontal gun depression is not that bad. Elevation is only 14, so kind of crap. Turret traverse is slow, only 19 degrees per second. So, tank destroyer. Hull traverse is decent. Horsepower per ton ratio is very high, 17. And terrain resistance will counterbalance, so that's fine. Health is below average, but not that much. View range is below average, but not that much. Radio is crap, so god awful radio. And camouflage value, even with the paint, is below average. So this is basically a grill 15 at tier 8. But it's this paint job. I mean, the pan KR looks relatively good, right? Because the tiger stripe paint. The mutts is, you know, artistically sprayed bare paint. So that looks pretty fine. But it has two scorpions on... <laughs> The scorpions look like lobsters, and I mean you could just mod it, but it's fine I guess. So this is likely coming soon, alongside with the Swiftvog M4257 alternate number 2. So there you go folks, and uh, here is the repeat of the list. So we're likely going to see the AMX M4 model 1949 pretty soon, based on the French second heavy line. Uh, not these tanks. The Mammoth, the Tier 7 VK4502P is not going to happen relatively soon. They totally remove the moist hen, the mouse chin, from the game directory files. So you'll no longer, you'll no longer see any resemblance of that vehicle anytime soon. Surprisingly, you're likely going to see the Krupp Style often trigger. The Chini Otsu is hidden. The Chieftain, the T95 slash Chieftain, the T71 CMCD, not really long reader. You'll likely see this hybrid of the M48A2 pattern for the next Clan Wars event, so likely Christmas. So this is likely going to happen for Christmas. Object 244 collects dust. These collects dust. KV4 KTTS is unbalanced, OP. Kozlovsky's KV-4 collects dust for four months now, three months. Same goes for the Kravet Stash 1. ISU-130 has been given to moderators. So this is a special vehicle, but nobody has access to. And Crappy Gun Arc, so it doesn't matter. Object 777, version number 2. Special Tier 10 heavy tank, mm, no clue. Same goes for the 268, version number 5. And the OPS-257. So there you go, folks. You're likely going to see the M4, AMX, the Orbital Scorpion Waffen Trigger, the Krupp Style Waffen Trigger, the Swiftvog, M4257, and the M4882 pattern. And that's, oh, the T45. This is the anniversary gift. So this is going to happen next month or in a few weeks. Actually, two weeks from now. So there you go, folks. That's. All the special upcoming premium tanks. But as for the Romtail Scorpion G, mod the skin if you're going to buy one. It's a decent buy. In my eyes, it's a decent buy. If you know how to play the Grail 15, if you know how to play, you know, large, gigantic, but fast tank destroyers. So it's a decent buy based on the penetration, based on the alpha, and the DPM is not that bad. And it's a premium tank. So, makes all the credits and crew XP, so that's all good. So, if you're going to buy this vehicle, mod the skin. 
<laughs> because the lobsters. It's just too funny. But there you go, folks. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.